put my phone at an awkward angle because it'll fall off and crack on this tablet, literal tablet, like made of some sort of stone tablet. How are you guys doing? I honestly didn't watch, uh, I didn't re-watch part of your last one because I want to just see what happens. Maybe some of you can actually, like, tell me what you think of this because, like, I really don't know about you guys. But even if, like, I was right, I don't think you guys would tell me. Because you're right. You're always right. Aren't you, my little lion? Lion. Lions. Ooh. I guess someone feels like they're on their game. Got their stuff in order, I assume. That's what I feel about you guys, anyway. This has been, hasn't been birdie for very long, but it's been long enough. Like, I've only been up maybe, like, a couple hours. So I'm like, fuck yeah. Having, like, my third cup of coffee. I'm off today and tomorrow. I want to try to go see my friend. Her name's Courtney. Courtney's cool. Well, she asked me to come see her, like, last week, and I couldn't, because I had to do some shit, so maybe I'll get to see her tomorrow. That'd be groovy. I like using words like bodacious and tubular and radical, because nobody else is... Well, people use the word radical, but not in the way you think. More like in the political sense. I like radical because, you know, like... Whoa, like, I grew up in that area of, like, airhead, and that shit's fun. Area. Era. I meant. Oh dear. I think I'm already getting a headache. How are you doing, lions? Seems like y'all are, um... Like, I honestly didn't watch yours, because I didn't. Because, like, I just want to see what happens. Because I want to know what goes on with the lions. Just out of, like, habitat. I find that it does help if I talk to you, um... The Zodiacs? That helps me focus on y'all, which is pretty groovy. Pretty helpful. Like, honestly, I really don't talk this much around people. I, I talk very little. But when I'm by myself, I, I'm just a chatterbox. It's weird. Not introverted, so you gotta mind me. I'm very quiet when I'm with people. But when I'm by myself, oh my god, I can talk my own ear off. Grr, ploop. And we are ready to begin. This is your mid to end June to July 1st reading of this year. Temperance is what you are. The Page of Pentacles is what you want. The Ace of Cup, uh, uh, Ace of Pentacles <laughs> reversed is what you fear. The High Priestess is what's going on around you. Secrets. What's against you is the King of Wands reversed. What's gonna end is the Page of Swords reversed, which is like going out to like just cut anybody who makes you feel whatever way. Then we have the Four of Pentacles reversed which, as a theme. Um, are you hanging on too tightly to something? Like, material-wise, value-wise, something. Like, I feel like you guys are, um... Like, you're not even thinking about it. You're just doing it because... Impulse? Maybe? Like, temperance is how you feel about yourself. Like, you're cool, you're mellow, you got, like, management going on, you're focused on your stuff, you're meditating your way, you ain't got no issues whatsoever. Um, what you want right now is a page of pentacles, which could be a female Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Like, some pages could represent, like, a female. But this page of pentacles could also represent, um, this is what you want. Um, maybe becoming the student again, and, like, being, having the potential to, um, Give to people, too. That could also be a potential as well. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Mm. 
bad karma somewhere? I'm just the messenger. Just saying. Um, but that was like a weird card to be flipping. Well, I was talking about, uh, huh. Okay, so like, the Ace of Pentacles reversed in your fear, like, either accepting something that, um, isn't for the best or trying to like, like maybe being given something you didn't want or being handed something to you? Is that, like with the Wheel of Fortune reverse, is that kind of what it is? Like, about to be handed some shit? Or like, is it something you don't want to be given away? Like, it's definitely a false beginning and I, and I feel like you don't want that hand. Like, you're afraid of that hand for some reason. Like, there's a guard. Like, you're in this garden setting, but, it, like, there's this, um, doorway in the background. With blue ma like, if you're looking at it from this angle, it's, like, mountains with the blue, with, um, a gray sky. But it's reversed, so it almost looks like the land is gray. Like, almost, I don't know. I'm more focused on that little doorway than I am the hand, though. Like, I feel like whatever this thing's offering, you want out of it? Like, I don't, I don't think you want to take this deal, whatever it is. Um, what's going on around you is the High Priestess, which is, like, secrets. Like, are you hiding secrets? Or is somebody else hiding secrets? Um, what's going against you is the King of Wands, which is Fire Sign, um, an older male. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this could easily be your card, too. Um, are you coming off as a spoiled child over some stuff? Because the secrets is right next to you. Like, that's what's going against you right now. It's going against your temperance, and it's going against this hand you don't want to deal with, and all of a sudden, Queen of the Wands is in this. And she just popped up as I was shuffling, so. You know. Liar, liar. Um. Liar, liar. Like, are you, are you keeping a secret? Is that why these two are next to each other? Because, uh, like, you have your back to the High Priestess, right? Oh, Lord, what was that? Oh, Lord, what was that? Like, I'm dropping cards for you. So... Is it making you feel like a prisoner in your head? Um... With these two? Like, you have your, like I was saying, you have your back to the High Priestess, then this dropped out. Do you feel like you're a prisoner in between these two? Like... Questions, you know, just questions. Because I don't know what's going on with y'all. Like, I don't even remember what I... I, I, I what, what, what was it we talked about last time? It's so hard for me to remember stuff. But, yeah, like, let's see. Then we got, as the end of the situation, the Page of Swords reverse, which is kind of like, it's a young female, possibly, air sign. I'm going to look at that, because, like, if you, like, that was the um, Five of Cups upright. I think you need to go to that bridge and, like, cross it and get over it, whatever it is. Um... This page of swords is like, rever she's reversed, so like, she's running around like the queen of swords just wanting to cut people's heads off, like, gonna give a good tongue lashing to whoever, give, give them a piece of her mind whether they deserve it or not. This could also be someone you know, this could be you in a sense, with this, um, energetic reading. Um, let's see what clarifies all of this. Loosh. And we have Ace of Swords reversed. The Eight of Cups reversed. The Tower reversed. Um, and the King of Cups reversed. 
the Six of Pentacles and end situation is death. And we have the three of cups reversed, which is like third party situation. And it is below and is crowned by the four of pentacles. So it's like are you trying to hang on to like more than one person? Are you in a triangle of some sorts? Do you know someone in the triangle? Did you just find out you were in a triangle? And you don't know how to let go of either person. Or the person you're with. Or, like, I feel like you're hanging on to this for your own, like, reasons. Maybe this is the person you built life with. Maybe this is the person you're planning on doing it. Because you're not holding on, and you're not holding on to it for, like, emotional reasons, right? But I don't know if you would anyway, because this is like a really odd situation. I feel like somebody is like trying to hang on to two people at once. Selfishly. Uh, we got Temperance with the Ace of Swords. This is like kind of a fucking mindset. Like, maybe somebody's lying to themselves. We have, you want this page of pentacles, but they're clarified by walking away from something to experience great joy. Or maybe you're walking away to them for great joy. Maybe they lead to the great joy if you leave this situation behind. Maybe you know this. Maybe the person who's in your life that's dealing with this situation knows this too. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles where, you know, like, you'd rather walk, like, I feel like you'd rather walk out of this, um, deal that's being offered to you, and you're afraid of a tower moment coming. Maybe the late effects, maybe, um, it doesn't happen now, but maybe later, but you're afraid that, like, the tower's gonna come up, and it's not gonna be as devastating as you think it will be. It'll be just enough, though. Or maybe you're afraid not taking this um, deal will lead to um, a disaster for you that you don't want to see coming. Maybe you're trying to delay the inevitable by not taking this deal or something. Mm. With the secrets card, we have the King of Cups reversed, which is a man who, like... Controls, he can't, he's a water sign. Emotional. And he doesn't give a shit about you. Didn't I say that last time, I think? Didn't you have him before? I don't know why this person is a secret, though. Or maybe he knows the secret. Like, that's what's going on around you. Maybe somebody you know knows something. God, this is deep. Like, like, do you gotta trust this dude with the secret, whether you like to or not? Like, you know that he's not the best dude to trust, but like, that's all you got going for you right now is like. Like, I feel like, okay, I feel like you're not accepting this deal because, like, you don't want the tower to come. But the tower isn't upright, okay? It's reversed, which kind of responds to, like, a delay or, um, like, it's going to take longer than what it's supposed to. And I feel like you not accepting this offer... That you don't see as a, like, you. I, I feel like you're more aimed towards the doorway that's reversed than anything. And I think that makes you think that this isn't going to happen because you're afraid of this. But all this is telling me is that, like, 
you not accepting this offer is just delaying the inevitable. Like, that, that's what I feel like when, I, when I'm looking at these two. I feel like there's a delay in the inevitable because, like, you're just maybe putting off taking this deal. Or somebody around you is. I need to say that because it might not be you, Liu's. It might be, like, a situation you're trying to, like, look at and maybe have advice on yourself so you know what to do. Or it's somebody close to you. But, like, really? Okay, kitty, come on. Come on. Come on. Like I, I, like, I feel that way with you guys. And then we got the King of Wands with the... Really? <laughs> the Six of Pentacles, which is like... Being a generous giver. Okay, so... There's the Ace of Swords, it's, it's kind of like lying to yourself. Are you lying to yourself about being a generous giver in order to try to delay this tower moment from happening? Because, like... That's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Like, are you giving somebody whatever they want? Because, like, you don't want to avoid something bad happening? Like, what is this, like, page of pentacles with this moment, with, the, with this going to great joy? Like, like, do you want to leave this person or do you want to stay with them? Do you feel like... Like, whatever secret this King of Cups, like, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male, who's not entirely, like, a cool dude, is going to, like, tell your, your, um, your cup running page of pentacles? Is that what's going on? Like... In the end, with this page of swords, there's death, which is a transformation. Something changes. So. And then it ends with the three of cups reversed, which is like their party situation. Um, three people. Sometimes the third person doesn't know that they're involved with three people total. But, like, total, because they have to count themselves, right? You can't just have a relationship and say, I'm, uh, I'm we're a party of one. Like, you don't do that until you're married, and then that still doesn't count until taxes come up, so, yeah. But, yeah, um... Like, does this person change, maybe, on you, or something, like... I don't know if they die, I'm not gonna say that, but it's just kinda like... Will this person teach you something that causes you to, like... Ugh. No, nothing. I ain't got nothing. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know what the... I'm really stuck on the page of swords and death. Because it's just kind of like... Yeah. Let me look at the page of swords. Because I already know what death is. And I, I should know what the page of swords is. Because I've looked at it so many freaking times. No, it's saying the exact same thing I was already saying before. Like. Like, maybe this person was posing in some way, and at some point they reveal their true nature. And it becomes like, you know, the death of their image. Like, you know, kind of like a mask comes off or whatever, right? Something like that. Because that would make sense. You said it makes sense for me. I think. Yes, right. Okay, that's it, guys. Bye-bye.